What's happening everyone? My name is Kirk Charles and welcome to another Fit Beyond 40 production. Today, I have a sour cream dish for you that you're going to love. You can put it on sauteed veggies, you can use it as a dip, you can put it on salad, you can put it in anything. It is really good and I really love it. I really love it when I'm making potato salad. It tastes great with that. So you only need a couple of ingredients and I'll show you what they are. Check this out. We have two lemons. I have cashews. These cashews have been soaked and there are three cups of cashews right here. And we have two stalks of celery and water. That's basically it. This is all you need. Now I might spice it up a bit. I might spice it up a bit and put something else in there, but those are the basic ingredients for this sour cream. You're going to love it. Watch what I do. Of course you have to have your blender. have my Vitamix here and I'm going to put the cashews in the Vitamix. Again, this is a cup and a half of cashews which have been soaked for about 30 to 40 minutes. Okay? All right. Now, with the lemons, we have to do something special with them, which would be to cut the lemon obviously and have my little dish here to squeeze it out so let's bring this down let's see a bit so I'm just getting the juice out of the lemon and you probably want maybe a half a cup of lemon juice for this recipe maybe a little bit more but you can put enough lemon in to taste. And I need my measuring cup. Right here. So I'll pour a little lemon juice in. All right. That's about a little more than a quarter cup there. So I will juice one more lemon. Let's get the seeds out here. Also, you can put salt in this, you know, salt to taste. As you probably know, when I cook, and when I advocate different types of food, I don't use oil, and I usually don't put salt in whatever it is that I make. Okay. this just a little bit more and I love lemon juice lemons are good for you to help detoxify the body get a lot of impurities out and let me strain this just a little Now, I squeeze two lemons and I have about a half a cup of lemon juice. This goes in. And I'm going to start out by giving these a little whiz here in the blender with a little water. Excuse me, forgot the water. I'm going to put enough water in to give it a creamy consistency and I'm not really measuring here but I just add in a little bit at a time because some of you may want it a little thicker than others and here we go Right. 
Now you can see, you can see the consistency of it. It's a little thick right now, which is fine. So that means I'm going to add a little more water in. However, you got to add some celery in here too. stick here, right? I'm just going to take a little bit of that off and taste it. Mm, that, this is really good, the way it is right now. Mmm. Now, notice that I didn't put that much water in it. Because some of you, as I said, may like it nice and thick. And cream. Look how thick this is. See how thick that is? See how it's just dripping off. It's not really that thin at all. And this tastes mm, absolutely excellent like this. Now, very creamy. You can put that on a baked potato. And I swear to God, it will taste better than any baked potato with sour cream that you've ever had in your life. You can garnish it, obviously, with scallions and other things. But this tastes great the way it is. Now, I'm going to add, because I like it a little different, I'm going to add one more lemon. And I'm going to add a little cayenne pepper to give it a little pop. So watch this. Okay, let's squeeze one more. And if you don't have lemon, you could use apple cider vinegar. That's another option. And I normally use uh, Bragg's apple cider vinegar, but you know, any kind you like. So whenever a recipe calls for lemon and I don't have it, I'm pulling out my apple cider vinegar. I do it all the time. Alrighty. So we have some lemon juice. And again, none of this is cooked, obviously. I mean, the cashews were our raw cashews. So you want to get raw cashews if you can. If you can't, then you know, well, then get roasted cashews. Taking the seeds out of this. There we go. Pour a little more out. A little more lemon juice, add it in, and I'm going to put a touch of cayenne pepper. Not much, just a touch, as you'll see here. Okay, didn't get too much there. So that's going to give a little kick. A little lemon juice will give it a little more spice, a little more tang added to it. And watch. 
and it could add just a little more water. I want it to loosen up a bit because sometimes I like my stuff a little looser. Just a little bit. So in total, I put about a little more than half a cup of water in this blend. All right, here we go. test again right let's see what we got here mm. Mm. yeah <laughs> mm. you're going to love this you will love it now you can also add in all types of other spices herbs whatever you care to put into it I just made it the simplest way but you know I might garnish with basil sometimes or I might throw some basil leaves in it but you know I can garnish with sage um, and I shouldn't really say garnish I mean just add it in just a little sprinkle on top all right um, but there are just many many different things that you can do with it and also you can use it as a dip for instance if you want a nice uh, quote-unquote healthy treat that's non-fattening I'll show you what I do look what I have here a little celery check this out take it Dip it in. Oh. All right. You put this in a little veggie dish when you have your friends over. Yeah. Mm. To die for. So it doesn't have all the chemical additives, the preservatives, the this, the that. Food colorings. Nice, natural stuff. That's what being 50 on 50 is all about. So give this a shot. Let me know what you think about it. And I'm telling you now, I'm going to say you will love this as much as I do, but you probably won't. It's absolutely perfect. So let's get 50 on 50. I'll talk to you later. Peace.